do you want to learn about the strokes as a beginner swimmer? In this video, we will figure out which strokes are easier and better to begin with. Hey, my name is Dan. I'm an NCAA national championship winner and owner of a swimming school based in New York City. I'm on the mission of baptizing as many people as it possible to the beautiful sport of swimming. This topic could be confusing for beginner swimmers. I will break it down step by step and show you which stroke is the best for you. Let's note that there are four strokes, butterfly, backstroke, breaststroke, and freestyle. In addition, some institutions also include the side stroke and elementary backstroke in this list. We will focus on the four classical strokes included in the Olympics. You want to start with the easiest swim stroke first. Discover the hard stroke later. So the butterfly stroke is definitely the hardest one. It is tough to distinguish the easiest stroke among freestyle, backstroke and breaststroke. We come to a swimming pool with the various skills, body complexities and fitness levels. Figure out which stroke is easier for you by learning more than one stroke at a time. That approach has proved itself to be effective for adult beginner swimmers. I have been able to help many adults gain their knowledge of swimming and this method will also help you. You are developing breaststroke by improving your freestyle. Getting better at backstroke will help you to become a better freestyler and backstroker. Do you see where I'm going? Imagine focusing on preparing only one dish that you love. I'm sure at some point it will be delicious, but you would definitely miss out on trying other delicious foods. The chances are your family will get tired of eating veggie steaks every night or pretty high. I have a free resource available for beginner swimmers. It's an ebook that will help you to take your first steps in swimming. I dive deep into the theory of swimming and teach how to learn the swimming fundamentals there. The link is down below in the description, make sure you check it out. Before learning the swim strokes, make sure you know your fundamentals such as kicking, breathing and pulling. Let me explain myself so that you can understand the significance of the fundamental swimming skills. Kicking will set you up properly while moving in the water. The proper form secures a better position in the water and makes your life easier. Here are a couple tips I would love to share to make your kicks more efficient. Slow down your kicks. The fewer is better. Beginners tend to put too much effort into their kicks. It makes sense when you sprint, but you should focus on long distance swimming instead. Remember this tale about tortoise and a hare? Be the turtle when learning the kicking technique. Whether it's freestyle or breaststroke, slow it down. Kick with the same rhythm. Make sure you kick with a permanent rhythm. It doesn't matter if you're learning flutter, breaststroke or backstroke kicks. You should always move your legs with the same rhythm. Pulling will get you far if you learn how to do it correctly. The proper form will help you to cover a lot of ground. Here are a couple of insights for you. Use your arm efficiently. Use the full range of your arms to create more propulsion in the water. The next time you go to the swimming pool, see if you cut your strokes short. Whether working on your freestyle, breaststroke or backstroke, you can add more distance per stroke, which basically means more efficiency. Relax your arms. Allow your arms to relax during the recovery phase. Every single swimming stroke has the propulsion and recovery phase. You must put in some effort during the propulsion phase and allow your arms to rest while recovering. <music> B 
breathing is the most natural skill we possess. We never had to learn how to do it. We had it pre-installed in our operational system. However, it is not as natural when you try to breathe while swimming. Here is the most important thing you need to understand about breathing while swimming. Let the air out of your lungs. Your lungs have a specific capacity. Learning how to let the air out of your lungs is crucial. Let's experiment. Take a deep inhale and hold your breath. Now, try to take another inhale on top of the previous one. You can do it, right? You need to exhale first. Learning how to exhale in the water before coming out for a breath will help you to master your breathing skills. There is no recipe that fits everyone the same way. Find the formula that works for you. Be patient and consistent. Give yourself enough rest in between training. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Let me know what swimming strokes you're learning now. If these tips were helpful, consider sharing this video with someone learning to swim. Watch other videos I have created for beginner swimmers. Good luck in the swimming pool and remember, swimming is not just a skill, it's a lifestyle. Bye.